God kept taking away my happy. And that made me mad, <laughs> okay? He knew some things I didn't though. He knew that those happy highs were only feeding my flesh. Mm. The more I chased the happy, the more I went without joy. The more I went without him. Hey sis, welcome back. Hi, I'm Jade Godbolt and this is Becoming Her Journey to Joy, a free Bible devotional that I wrote for women that are becoming her. Now you've been rocking with me for two days already and if I don't see your name in the Becoming Her Sisterhood Facebook group, we gonna have some problems, okay? Because we gotta hold each other accountable, sis. Let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you got your Journey to Joy devotional downloaded and let's get into it. This is day three of Journey to Joy and today it's about kingdom joy, sis. And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Happy is the flesh. Joy is the spirit. I used to say, I just want to be happy all the time. The highs of happy were great and gave me just enough to get me to the next happy, or so I believed. Many times my happy cost me. Whether it was money I shouldn't have spent, time I wasted, or people I hurt, it never really was a free gift. And it always came at some sort of cost, even potentially hurting myself. Beginning in my high school rebellious years and through my 20s, I'm 32 now, my happy place was the high of being at the party when you're feeling a little tipsy and the music is doing its thing and everybody is turned all the way up. That was my happy place. It was all good until the hangovers and other not so happy moments that always seemed to follow a crazy night out. Then when that didn't really do it for me anymore, work became my happy place. Until I became a mom and a wife and realized that my work ethic had become detrimental to my home life, that was a doozy. That was a hard pill to swallow. See, the way I used to see it, God kept taking away my happy. And that made me mad, <laughs> okay? He knew some things I didn't though. He knew that those happy highs were only feeding my flesh. Mm. The more I chased the happy, the more I went without joy. The more I went without him. Ask yourself, where is my happy place? And then take a step back. Has that happy place cost you something? Do you have to sacrifice to have it? Do you have to get it on your own? If you answered yes to any of those or all of them, then God wants you to stop. Stop chasing happy. Stop going to your happy place. Cause the real tea is Christ is your happy. The kingdom of God is your happy place, AKA your home. The joy of the Lord is your strength. That moment of happy is all flesh, sis. When you really understand and believe that, you realize more and more why Jesus paid such a high price for you. He didn't just save us. He paid our way to joy. As daughters of the kingdom, the spirit of joy can enter in at any moment for us, under any condition, and it costs us nothing. There is fullness and gladness that comes when we choose joy instead of happy. When we walk in the spirit and not in the flesh, the journey is only physical for a time until the veil is lifted and the Holy Spirit guides you and fills you with joy. Here are the general prompts for today. Write down where your happy place is, your real happy place, not God is my happy place. Don't say that because that may not be your happy place for real. Okay. <laughs> what is your happy place and does it align with who God is calling you to be. 
Prompt number two, write down one step on your journey to joy that you can take and stay committed to right now. And to close out this three day devotional and journey to joy, we're gonna pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you. Thank you for always finding a way to get to me. Even in my mess, even in my will, you still believe that I can do what you have called me to do. You never give up on me, even when I do. You called me good at the beginning and today I agree. I agree with your word that says you are my provider and that you have given me the power to do all things according to your will. I believe Jesus is enough, that my debt has been paid with his blood and nothing the enemy has planned against me can change that. Hallelujah. Lord, help me to embrace your joy daily. Help me to think, speak, feel, and do the things that please you so that I can continue to become the woman you have formed me to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, this time has been so good together. I am hoping and praying that you are just being filled up through this experience. And let me know some feedback, y'all. Let me know what you think. Let me know if we need to have an expansion of Journey to Joy, or if there are other specific topics that you are exploring and kind of discussing and praying over with God. And maybe it'll be the next devotional topic, who knows? But I'll continue to pray for you and I'm super excited about what God is going to continue to do in you. If you want to see more of me, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, Twitter, here on YouTube, uh, pretty much everywhere <laughs> at Jade Godbolt. You can also visit my website, jadegodbolt.com, which has everything there, whether it be my devotionals, some blog posts, some recaps of things that I'm doing and I'm up to. And let's stay connected. Like I've been saying throughout this entire experience, get on to our Facebook group, okay? Become a BH sis, all right? Becoming her sisterhood. It's a private Facebook group just for us, okay? So that we can be open and vulnerable in a safe place, digitally, but safe. Maybe physically, we'll see. And until I see you next time, love you sis, take care. Hugs. <laughs>